Hi, welcome to the Power Wheelchair Comparison where we are going to check out the top power wheelchairs on the market today. Elevate is nice because you can finally get eye level with people that you normally don't get to. I like Elevate too because I am personally 5'10 and sitting down all the time I don't get to take advantage of my height and see things as I would if I were standing. So I really like chairs that elevate me so I can see what the rest of the world is looking at. Elevate's one of those that could be a benefit to everyone. Um, it's not always medically necessary for the funding source, but it should always be something you talk about. And if it's something you want, then we should figure out a way to try to get it for you. Because when you're sitting talking to someone, I don't have to keep talking like this. It's hard on them, and it's hard on them to bend over to look at me. It makes me more normal. It's perfect for uh, talking to people because eye to eye is always changes the dynamic of a conversation. When you look down or look up, the dynamic is always different, but when you're eye to eye, it's almost you're on equal playing field. It's nice to feel like everybody else in the fact that you can be at eye level with people and be able to move around in your home or even at a party with friends. If you're a student and you're in class, it's the ability to reach you know, up onto the lab to work with your lab partner. Sometimes it's nice to be in a, in a chair that elevates so you can reach the upper shelves, uh, you get in the refrigerator, just those things that are normally out of reach. You know, going to a sporting event and being able to raise your seat up and, and when everyone's standing up and you can see what's going on on the field, not everyone's in front of you. I mean, that, socially, that's, that's a huge benefit and builds confidence in, in yourself, you know, that kind of thing. The power elevating seat is definitely a good feature to have. Most of the insurance companies don't pay for it because they don't believe that's medically necessary. But we have quite a few customers who use that feature for transfers. So they would level the power chair to their bed and they can have a safe transfer. I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to get into something and almost fall in because I'm not at the right height and I can't adjust myself to be level with the surface I'm transferring on. The Elevate feature that we have on this chair here is really important, especially you know when we go to travel. I do a lot of traveling um, and different hotels have different beds with different heights. Um, so some beds are a lot shorter, some beds are a lot higher. Um, so you can use this feature here to adjust the chair to the specific heights of the, of the bed so it makes transferring a lot easier rather than having to strain your muscles or your back or having to have someone there with you to help you. You can be a lot more independent. The seat elevate on today's TDXSP is 7 inches. The next generation will feature the ultra low max powered seating system for Motion Concepts which has a scissor elevate that goes up to 12 inches. So the M300 raises eight inches in height, um, but one of the nice things about our chairs is when you raise the seat up, you can still maintain a steady speed of approximately 2.5 to 2.7 miles per hour. Um, and that's a nice feature to have because that's a pretty steady walking speed. So the F5VS um, actually has a seat elevation height capable of 14 inches whereas the F3 has a height of 12 inches. The power features of the QM710 include a 12 inch uh, total seat elevator. We have a 12 inch seat elevator that you can have with reduced drive, so you can drive at about 25% capacity while elevated. Our seat elevator elevates 13 inches. I'm going to stand now. And right now I'm still seated. And now the pressure off my butt has been released. It is going to my legs. As you can see, the front wheels, safety wheels have been put down for more precaution. Very smooth and I am totally up right now. The biggest thing is, is when you're in a standing position, you're getting complete pressure relief off of your bony prominent areas like your 
your ischial tuberosities and your trochanters. And so what that does is it decreases the chance of you getting a wound or a bed sore, which can then cause more problems down the road. I have a standing frame, but you can't do anything while you're using it except stand. And I like to be on the go and I like to do things. So I tried the Permobil F5, which I really like because I can stand and also do functional things while I'm standing. Uh, the only thing is the Permobil F5, it's a front wheel drive, so maneuvering it feels a little awkward and I have to get used to that. Uh, it looks really, really nice. I like the way it looks and it's just not as fast as I'd like it. I have been standing now for almost 20, 25 minutes and I do not feel tired. I feel like I could stand for another 20, 25 minutes. Transportation provided by Brownability. Locations provided by Illuminate Studios. The Power Wheelchair Comparison Web Series. Brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures.